Okay guys, welcome to another HQ tutorial on your tech. Now this time, let's take a look at how you can check your app store history. And it is a very simple process, but I really do believe that you need to know where you need to find it. So at first, on your iPhone, what I want you to do is to locate the app store icon. It's of course the app where you download all other apps. And there, no matter which section you are located in, whether in the, you are in the Today's tab, in the games or whatever, in the upper right corner, you have your profile picture. So what you have to do is to tap on it. It moves you to your account section, which is like your profile within the App Store. And there you have the first section is literally purchased. Like, don't make it or don't be discouraged by this because it doesn't only put it there, the, um, the purchases, the actual ones that you paid for, but also the apps that were free, but you technically purchased them for free by downloading them. So this is going to show you a list of all of the apps that you have ever downloaded on your iPhone in the chronological order. In fact, what's really interesting is that you have it split up into two different sections. The first one is all and the one on the right is not on this iPhone. Because chances are that if you have one Apple ID, one Apple account, it is possible that you also have like different devices. And the all section represents all of the apps that have been downloaded and installed using this specific Apple ID that you currently use. On the other hand, the not on this iPhone section is where you can find all of the apps, everything that has been downloaded. For example, those apps that were, of course, not on the iPhone, but on different devices. So, for example, some iPad apps or uh, whatever it was, but using the same Apple ID, but not on this iPhone. And the point of this section is to locate the apps that you have perhaps deleted in the past to re-download them. Because it can happen that you knew for a fact that you had one good dictionary app, you deleted it, now you cannot find it on the App Store anymore. What you do is go to this section and go to the search bar, type in French or whatever, and it's going to show you all of the good apps, and I mean all of the apps, not only the good ones, that have been installed on this device. So what you can do is to click on the cloud icon and reinstall them once again, so it's very useful. But what's also good is that this list is sorted chronologically, depending on which apps have been installed at the latest. So, of course, it makes sense, but you would be surprised where things like these should be sorted this way and are not. For example, in the um, uh, app library, if you check out the recently added apps, if you click on it, the apps are sorted alphabetically, which doesn't help at all. And yeah, it makes sense for them to be sorted chronologically here as well, but they're simply not. So that's why I say that it's good that the sorting is present on the App Store history. And by this, I have to conclude today's tutorial. I really do hope that you found this video both valuable and informative at the same time. If that is the case, I would really be pleased if you hit the thumbs up as it shows me that you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you don't want to miss out in the future, I would encourage you to subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. That's going to help you and serve me as well. So it's a win-win for both of us. Thanks all for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace out, guys.